Good afternoon, and welcome to episode 950. Not the little milestones, but incremental milestones. Um, today I'm going to just thrash this thing about resolutions one more time. <laughs> um, basically, because I, I posted a meme today that was really fun when I saw it, it was about recycling your resolutions, because people do that. You maybe? We'll see. And why it's not good for you, because basically when you, when you are recycling your resolutions, it isn't a good thing, and I'll explain why in a moment. So before I jump into that, um, if you haven't seen my talks about resolutions the last <laughs> 10 days, no, six, seven, eight, several days worth, I did four particular broadcasts in, sorry, four broadcasts in particular that started on January 1st. So that was numbers, just to give you the head, head of time, the numbers are 940, four, five, six, and seven. Yes, four, yeah, yes. <laughs> Because those were four key components of what you would recommend to do instead of that. I might recap them now, but I want to talk about the resolution assumptions people make. So here's the thing. Here's one of the things. There's many things. But here's one. Here's the thing. Resolutions are um, way over. What's the word for? Overhyped, maybe the right word? Well, they are hyped. I mean, high, there is an overhyping, it's hype, period. Resolutions are looked upon as being the be all and end all of how you start your brand new first, brand new year. And that's bull stuff. <laughs> Trying to be polite. Resolutions are something a lot of people tend to do from year to year. And what I mean by recycling is that you do the same resolutions every year. And if you're like most people, something like 92, 92% of all people make resolutions break them. Um, if you make the same resolution every year and you don't have it change, maybe you want to try something different. To you know, to reference what is attributed to Albert Einstein, um, doing the same thing again and again, expecting different results, the definition of insanity. If you do your resolutions again and again and again and they don't work, nothing changes, you might be thinking you should I'm thinking you might want to change them to something different. And the reason why I have this thing resolutions and I've been <clears throat> let me be clear, I've had a pet peeve with these things, especially for the last couple of weeks about this because resolutions I found don't work and I've talked about this many times already in the last two weeks but people aren't getting the point so I guess I'm going to say it one more time is resolutions are an egotistical desire to get something done I say that ego is basically that, that um, resolutions are ego driven what replaces them and that's one of the four things I was mentioning last week and I'm probably going to cover them one of the things I talked about is the power of intention versus resolution because intentions are, as I call it, spirit-infused. Intentions are more heart-based rather than ego-based, more expansive and open to allow support in, because when you start setting intentions, you become more observant to the miracles of life that happen around you. When you're, on, when you're doing resolutions, for mo most resolutions out there, in fact, I don't have a proportion of this, the vast majority of resolutions are, are, are single-focused, simplistic, um task oriented type things gonna quit smoking gonna go to the gym again gonna eat healthier going to look for a new job um going to be nice to my partner these are all very specific things and in their own right they're great if you could do them but frankly most people don't do them they said 92 percent of all the people who get, make resolutions break them resolutions aren't effective i've been talking about this because i'm adamant about this if you want to have a transformational experience this year don't use resolutions start first of all with intentions because the tensions are way better. Hi, Marlon. Nice to see you. And so the, the idea I'm talking about here is that you want to shift your perspective. Because if you're recycling your resolutions again for maybe the fifth year in a row, sixth year in a row, and things haven't changed, you may be flogging the proverbial dead horse. So my recommendation to you, my invitation to you, is to look at things differently. And I'll give you the, the, the Cliff Notes version of what I shared over last, um, from last week, or just a week ago. The four main things that will help you transform your experience of what you want to start this year. So again, one of those is intentions. Instead of doing resolutions, do intentions. Because intentions are worded, I'll give you the quick cliff notes, as a statement of ownership. I am enjoying my new career, whatever it might be for you. By setting intentions in motion, you're actually setting in motion things that are inviting help from those outside. The universe, spirit, what do you want to call that? I'm not going to give you the full details of how that works, but that's just give you a hint little teaser that's number one number two is to create what i what i've been talking about for quite a while now which is vision boards you may have heard very about these done them before you may know what you're doing with them however most people don't do vision boards right so even though vision boards are great 
you've got to do them the right way for them to work effectively. So my second broadcast, which I mentioned the numbers earlier, was about vision boards and explained in great detail about how they work and why they work and how to make them more effective. And I'm going to explain why all these things are key in a moment. The third key was to practice the embodiment of the experience that you're looking for. So if you're looking to have a transformation experience this year around your career or a relationship or something else, then the embodiment is to, like, is to bring on the feeling of how it feels to be there already. To put yourself into the future to experience what would already be happening. Now, this is a challenge for some people because they can't think past today, let alone into the future. But again, I explained that in one of the previous broadcasts and I've got a whole offering for you in a moment I'll tell you about. Fourth key is really something that covers all of them in a way, which is affirmations. People generally look at affirmations with a disdain because, they have, well, let me take that another way. So a lot of people don't know what affirmations are. A lot of people use affirmations um, negatively because they don't know how to use them. And a lot of people in the conscious movement, the personal growth industry, may have some disdain for um, affirmations because they don't know how to use because maybe they've used them and they haven't worked. That's not a problem with the affirmations, it's a problem with the user, <laughs> just to be clear. So the reason I'm, I'm again, these are all I spoke about in the previous, in those four broadcasts, again, 944, 945, 946, 947. This is number 9 or 50, so you go back to last week, you'll catch them. The reason I want to talk about those things, those four things have a certain reason, because the power of embodiment is a kinesthetic experience. You're putting it on, you're trying it on, you're feeling it. Affirmations are a verbal, or I should say an auditory experience. So you start to tune into you, hear what you're saying. Intentions are a... I would call it spiritual, perhaps, certainly an, a, a, an energetic feel as well. But embodiment is much more visceral. You feel it more powerfully. Vision board, you may have guessed already, is a visual reference. So by having all of the faculties and your senses impacted by what you're doing, these four things, you're actually taking a whole different experience of how to create your new year versus recycling old, well-used, ineffective, and unsuccessful resolutions. Is to get a sense of the difference? hope you are. So my point I want to make clearly again is that if you do these four things, and you don't, and what's the broadcast you can do from what I said, <clears throat> but I'm going to give you an invitation to something rather special in a moment that will include all this and a whole lot more. If you do these four things and you really embody your own experience of those on physical, physical, visual, and kinesthetic, and auditory, all four levels, mental as well as in those two, because yeah. Okay, let me just, let me rephrase that a little bit. So with intentions, affirmations, embodiment, and vision boards, you're actually covering all five components, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, physical, dimensional, physical, mental, kinesthetic, visual, auditory. That was it, the five. I knew you'd get it eventually. So if you do those, you're going to transform your experience because rather than a resolution you write down, you're going to make it into a multi-dimensional because it's going to be more than three because you're going to the future. So it's four-dimensional experience of what you want to create. It does take a little bit more work, yes, but the payoff, the value, the benefits are way better, which is why I'm so biased about this. And that's why I've been talking about it pretty adamantly for the last few days. So again, practicing your intentions for the new year using intention, vision board, affirmation, and embodiment will be a whole lot more powerful than just doing resolutions you've used the last year, year before, year before that. Now, once in a blue moon, some of these resolutions do work. And if they do that, awesome, great. But from the vast majority of people, they don't. That's why I'm offering this as an alternative. Now, as I said before, I was leading into something. These four components, are among, um, in addition to a much bigger um, toolkit, are part of my new offering, which is coming up, called the BFF Masterclass. Because what I'm really about is helping you really build out a new lifestyle, a new way of being in life, that will transform your experience from this point forward, so that you have a whole new year, a whole new decade, a whole new life going forward, that is transformed and aligned to what you really want. BFF stands for balance, freedom, and flow. And when you do these four components I mentioned, that really creates a sense of flow in your life because life moves more easily and more effortlessly in your mind alignment with where you want to go. And let me just say it this way. When you start setting up things this way, doors open magically. So if you're looking to move forward in certain areas and not having it happen, this is the way it works. So hope this makes sense to you. I'm going to put the link, to the link in the comments for this, which is barryselby.com forward slash BFF. If you want to check it out right now, the link will be in the comments as I mentioned after I sign off. But I really want to get clear that this is how you start your year right. Whether you use the four ideas, the four things I suggested, even if you use one of them, that will shift something in your life. But if you use all four of them, your life will be changed. If you join my BFF Masterclass, which I recommend highly, 
it'll be even more transformed if you jump in with both feet and you say yes to what's going to be possible. So um, with that, I'm keeping this um, you know, a little bit shorter today because I have to go somewhere soon. So I'm making this make sure I fit in the time I've got to let the play. So this is a reminder that you can start the new year right right now. Rather than do, you didn't miss the boat. If you did do it on the first, you still got time. So jump in now, get started, and have some amazing results. So again, my BFF Masterclass is offering the offerings in the comments. You can check it out after I sign off. Just go to barryselby.com forward slash BFF to check it out. Hi, Phoenix. Um, if you haven't seen my broadcast before, I do this every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time right here on my personal page, which is Barry Selby. If you haven't joined me before, start doing it. It's kind of fun. You can interact and comment. I can see you when you join in, which is great. Um, secondly, if you haven't seen my broadcast before, you can watch the replays, which is a bunch because it is a number 950, on my business page on Facebook, which is barryselby.author. Like my page and you can find them there. However, Facebook's not the most... Um, Overt. Hi, Happy New Year to you too, Phoenix. Thanks for being here. Um, Facebook's not the most effective at keeping all my videos lined up for you to watch. Even on my personal page, if you go to the video or album, a bunch of them aren't even there. You can't even see them because it doesn't show everything. It just shows what it thinks is the most recent, whatever that is. So better yet, go to my YouTube channel. Yes, I have a YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash user slash Barry Selby. And you can subscribe to my channel. And there's a playlist on there called Messages from the Mask Member. All of these live. So all of them back to bottom to YouTube. You can watch them all there from newest to oldest if you want. If you want to binge watch them, go for it. That's a lot of stuff to watch of me. I'm not going to say you should do that. <laughs> but there are the titles are listed. So you can keep, you can do keyword searches and look for what you want to find so you can get what you're looking for as help. Again, I recommend watching episodes 944, 945, 946, and 947. So 944 to 947, those four, which go into greater detail what I shared in this broadcast about the four things you want to do to rock your new year. Again, my BFF Masterclass is for the, uh, it's not for the faint of heart. So if you're ready to have an amazing year and you're courageous enough to jump in, check out the link in the comments, join me in the program, and watch your life transform. I'm realizing that I, in the video on that page, it's the same shirt I'm wearing now. I shot that a while ago, just to be clear. So go check it out, have a look, and if it calls to you, sign up today. Um, with that, I thank you for watching. I will see you again tomorrow, same time, same channel. Um, and I invite you to think about how you want to start your new year right. And of course, my reminder always is, please, take care of yourself. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.